Hey, what is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Today we're going to be talking about a topic that interests me quite a bit. There is currently a lot of excitement within the Dying Light community with that big update coming with guns now finally being in the game. People are happy, things are good, but we're going to be talking about something a bit more negative today. Techland recently announced Dying Light 2 Reloaded, which is basically going to become the new standard edition for the game moving forward. And the thing that got people pissed off is that Bloody Ties is also going to be free. Now, in my last video I went into more detail about how Bloody Ties being free could actually be a good thing for the long long term of Dying Light 2. They could reuse the arenas for challenges, reuse them for events, there's so many possibilities, but we're mainly talking about the controversy that happened because of that. The other day I made a community post letting people know that Bloody Ties is soon going to be completely free, and that is where I first saw the outrage. There were tons of comments with people saying they want a refund, they want their money back. Many folks were saying they just bought the DLC a couple days ago, so I'm sure they're extra pissed. But the main thing everyone was wondering is if they're going to be compensated if they already had bloody ties. And my honest opinion is I don't think Techland is going to do anything. No compensation or nothing, they're just going to move on. To the folks that are pissed off that Bloody Ties is going to be completely free, we gotta remember this isn't the first time Techland has done this. And this is actually pretty normal for gaming, if I'm being honest. Just a few years ago, Techland upgraded Dying Light 1 players to the Enhanced Edition all completely for free. So now everybody has the following in Bozak Horde. We discontinued the cycle once again in Dying Light 2 this time. Of course, back then too, you also had people asking for refunds, being outraged that other people get the content they bought for free. Even though it was years old and nobody knew was really buying it. It's not too late though, Techland could announce the DLC is going to be free, then they give out some sort of compensation, but let's just be realistic, that's a very unlikely scenario. Tomorrow is the big event though, so I'm sure they'll elaborate maybe on Bloody Ties being free, but probably won't get into too much detail, but anyways, I'll see you there. Just like last year's anniversary stream, I'll be streaming this one too, so feel free to stop by. This is my first stream in like 8 months, also we don't really get these opportunities very much at all, especially big events like this, so I hope you join me. With that said, thank you for watching and listening to what I had to say. If you enjoyed, feel free to like the video, give your thoughts down below, definitely, subscribe too, and of course, stop by for the next one everyone, and stop by the stream tomorrow if you want. Peace.